America's goal for human spaceflight should be safe, routine, reliable, and sustained access to space. This goal implies that we have many options for many people to get to space, and many reasons for them to choose to do so. Currently, most people have no opportunities for space travel, and the opportunities for the chosen few are limited. Therefore, the whole infrastructure of our space program must be re-examined. The public sector is working towards a different goal. NASA is focused on expendable, Hail Mary methods of accessing space, instead of incrementally building the necessary reusable systems. And despite recent successes, the private sector as a whole is not ready to build this infrastructure, due to the huge financial barrier to entry and the lack of a clear return on investment. When the public sector won't do something, and the private sector is not ready, nonprofit organizations must step in to lead the way. The American Red Cross is an excellent example of how nonprofits can provide services and impact the world in ways that neither governments nor commercial industry can. The United States needs a nonprofit organization dedicated to the development of the infrastructure required for safe, routine, reliable, and sustained access to space. Human spaceflight is still a fledgling field. Globally, we have only reached orbit through eight designs, and the future will require many more. This level of diversity cannot be achieved by following the traditional closed development model. Our progress will be stunted because the efforts of engineers will be disconnected, leading to the repetition of mistakes and reinvention of successes. There is another way. The open source software movement serves as a guide. Under this model, groups and individuals freely share their ideas and work, learn from each other, and build upon each other's insights. This leads to faster and better results that can be used as the foundation for future development and commercial products. For example, the now popular TiVo DVR is built upon the open source Linux operating system. Without Linux, the time and money required to develop the DVR may have been beyond the reach of TiVo, and consumers would have been denied this new way of watching television. Open source development also played a critical role in the birth of aviation. It was the pioneer, Octave Chanute, who by publishing his collection of aviation research, allowed the Wright brothers to build and fly the first airplane in only four years. A nonprofit organization following the open source model will provide a place for people to collaborate on the design of complex space systems, building upon, learning from, and sharing in each other's success. The future of American human spaceflight must be built on safe, routine, reliable, and sustained access to space. America needs a nonprofit organization to lead the way through an open source development model. To build a solid foundation for exploration, this nonprofit must start simply by developing a reusable counterpart to the Mercury program and then building upon this capability. We are putting this vision into action today. Join us.